श्री केशव राव श्री केशव राव केशव राव जी ओनली फाइव मिनट्स है because we have to today uh, today i'll not object to your time limit sir because i we really want the bill to be passed but i was looking forward to this bill being passed because as the minister said it was culmination of 20 to 24 years of our thinking our protest our sufferings sufferings in silence although we wanted work but it is not without reason we had caved in to the judiciary for various reasons we went for the committed executives we went for the executive supremacy is all whatever it is but sir <clears throat> whatever it is the bill is so well drafted as i was looking into it so tightly drafted at i have my own doubts mr chairman sir because whatever it is after having enjoyed 20 years 24 years the judiciary might not leave us that free although all of us have been asking for this bill I have my own appreciation doubt. The, it is for the law minister who is really firm, one of the strong ministers. Let him also take this interview. But the very fact that the entire house, not only here but the other house, the, the way that we have expressed their unanimous voice, an emphatic voice for a reform, because always we have been talking of reforms in terms of so social reforms or in terms of economic reform. Nobody, scarcely, we have talked about judicial reforms. which really upholds the very constitutional democracy for us the lives of the people mr jetmalani wrote on a member sitting here very deep it felt on how that we are all become wards of the uh, supreme court or any court it is and how the judges become oh, our guardians right. now that particular thing is crumbling now what do we do today why did the minister come with this thing i did not say because Yesterday, his clarification, or in the other house, or Mr. Jetley's clarification, have cleared it. Since all of us are on the same page, I don't think I need to take much time at all. But I would like to understand though, why are we becoming diffident to say, Mr. Jetley, to come and say we are going to keep up stand by the independence of judiciary? We want the judiciary. Everybody wants it. Is not that judicial the independence or? Uh, what you call what he used the word uh, a partiality we would as uh, see that the impartiality remains or so so see the judicial yeah, what i am saying is independence and impartiality are not the judicial prerogatives they are not private property of those people it is our right of the, all the people all of us want it but what we want is along the independence there has to be accountability otherwise without accountability independence becomes a nonsense it would become scam so that is what we are trying to do the earlier we had the system that we had for all these years perhaps went bad in few cases where the executive got its own supremacy that is the better today as the minister I, since i want to cut short and uh, uh, stick to my time what i'm saying today the minister tried to balance the thing what is the balance he has factored in the judiciary about which we have been talking so much as we are nothing at all he has factored in the executive he has factored in the other civil society these three with a balance and today as mr jetley says judiciary still keeps its supremacy because as the i believe the next bill it is not this bill the next bill says that if two people differ you you will not have your way through so that means it will not be it will certainly be judiciary it will have its last say to which i might have my own uh, reservations but nonetheless it will keep because the people are asking for it sir why are we asking for this is not because they did not have criteria or this or that but certainly time is there so i would jump to another point sir the point is what mr raja has brought in what mr yadav ji has brought in what others try to bring in sir sociology of law unless you factor in the social diversity because we are saying this today because you are going to head the judicial system jurisprudence as such you are going to be our first law officer you are going to be our guide and philosopher as far as very uh, judicial reform is concerned we are not not only word not worried about whom you are bringing and chief justice and chief justice high court or judges as high court what do they is also important though we are not discussing there is not an agenda before us but nonetheless that in in fact is the true agenda as far as hearts are concerned 
Our soul cries for it. What Yadoji says is, when you see the entire country, with all the ten, ten, uh, uh, something more than 800 judges not having any BCR in SC, hardly having anything, it hurts few people because it has to uh, blend it to the milieu. This is what I'm saying because there is officer. Okay. Let, let the Home Minister, conclude. as the chief executive there, look onto these facts also because there are issues conclude. like pending cases, okay. issues like infrastructure, issues like fee, all these are issues which have to be factored okay. into these things. I, I, since I don't have a time, otherwise I would like to tell you, the, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, our Raji talked about it, the fee. Okay. It absolutely is some kind of prohibitive in the sense it discourages you from going. Anyhow, thank you very much. Uh, actually, the minister wrote a letter to our state. Okay, please. We did, we did not deploy, I understand, I'm sorry for it, but it was the same thing what I'm saying. We are on with you, we are with you, we are heartily with you as far as this bill and this reform is concerned. Okay, thank you.